Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Session Recap. 22nd of May, 2017. Today, we will see five setups. Euro dollar, pound dollar, Australian dollar, Euro yen. And finally, I will show you one more setup. It will not be a dollar CAD, but rather we will go with GBP CAD. Okay, so for all of you who are new here, you can follow me on Torrential FX, and this is my Facebook profile, so you can follow me. Okay, guys, so before we begin, standard risk disclaimer explaining that CFD and Forex trading are leveraged products and can result in losses that exceed your deposits. This presentation is for informational and educational purposes only. Online educational materials are available by other markets and stolen for a global audience. And this video is not part of the .co.uk website, but the globaluse.com website. Okay, so today's agenda will be to show you previous week results and to go with this week's setup. So rules and setups for our session recap trade. Trades. Give price a breather. You can enter within 50 pips of the predicted level if it's in agreement with your system. Always respect your stop loss. We use POC or buffer zone. Add a spread to your stop loss, even if you trade via ECN at 2 to 5 pips depending on the pair traded. We take only one position per listed pair, either positional or alternative trade, whichever hits first. We always trade the first touch of the zone. It is because the first touch is the most profitable. That is why we focus at the first touch when the price gets in the zone. That is very important for you. So once you are late in a trade, if the price has not pulled back away too much from POC zone, you can always estimate if it was the first touch. If it was the first touch, then you can enter, but don't move your stop loss. Positional trades are trend trades, alternative trades are counter trend trades. Breakout trades and scalp trade levels can be traded independently of any position. Depending on time and volatility, we use profit stop after 20 pips, not less. Session recap setups are valid for today, tomorrow, and sometimes the day after tomorrow. Pay attention to my Twitter updates. Have in mind the scalp trades should be traded at or very close to important support resistor levels. All those levels are calculated by historical levels and Camarilla. Add these levels to your system, pay attention to trend, so you might find other trend-based entries, and the term pips pool, that is the maximum available number of pips, you could have got on recap entry. So past week results, this was the result of previous week, Euro dollar didn't qualify, pound dollar, positional trade was good for 150 pips, scalp swing was possibly good for 60 pips, definitely pound dollar was the trade of the week. Australian dollar alternative set up 70 pips, Euro yen didn't qualify, dollar cat positional 20 or minus 45 pips, dollar pips pool was 255 up to 300 and the trade of the week was the pound pound dollar so this was the week past week result and our pound dollar definitely was the trade of the week i like how it came to be very very solid setup and the the movement was really good okay so euro dollar this was the setup of euro dollar we had buy positional trade around 0880 and then we get a sell trade what happened is basically euro dollar went up without any pullback so euro dollar didn't qualify pound dollar was the trade of the week this is the screenshot of pound dollar this is this vertical red line represents the time of our webinar so this is the candle when the webinar was started and just well i can say next day 
during early session, London session, you can see pound dollar was bought precisely where we had it. We had around 28.70, so this was somewhere here. It it made even I, I, I call this a perfect trade because I didn't I didn't uh, make this trend line exactly at uh, our bottom of POC zone, but you can see here 2870. Definitely, we didn't have almost a single pip of a drawdown, and this is what I call a perfect trade. Definitely, pound dollar was the trade of the week and maybe the trade of the month because we didn't have any drawdown and the trade setup went straight in profit. And today, also, if you, if you traded pound dollar, I gave you two good setups one with Forex Empire, the second with Admiral Markets. The first setup on pound dollar also came in profit so if you traded this setup here the price came directly to the poc zone at 29.65 exactly there and it spiked for some 60 pips so this was the setup that i done with forex empire and set, set, second setup I uh, did with Admiral Markets here, and again, if you traded this setup at POC zone, Euro dollar, again two good trades in in a single day. So it will be a little bit hard now to find setups that will be respected in the next two days because both of those setups came in profit, and uh, if you traded. Today, you could have made more than 120 pips on pound and euro dollar. I will, I, I, I try to make new setups, but this was and this has been the setup for this day that already played out, both for euro dollar and for pound dollar. So that happened today. I just made a slight digression to show you. Today setups. Now we are again at the previous week. Australian dollar was in downtrend, but I said alternative trade or counter trend trade could have been made around 7390. What happened exactly at POC zone? Price rejected, giving us nice pips that came in profit. Euro yen, another trade setup. It it actually was qualified only two days after when we had our uh, live trading session. So from perspective of session recap, it wasn't valid one because it 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 uh, happened in the afternoon on on a Wednesday, so it was not qualified. And dollar cat. This this could have been either a loss or a profit, depending on what you did. If you protected your profits here, or you could have made up to 20 pips, 20, 25 maximum. But then again, if you left it, the chances that it came in a loss. So dollar cat was either a profit or loss. Whatever, guys. Pound dollar definitely the trade of the week, maybe the trade of the month. Australian dollar also good, very very good. But what I like definitely the best is pound dollar. Regarding today, today's analysis, Bob is saying that he got both of these trades. Excellent, Bob. Excellent. And uh, so, so this was Euro Dollar today with Admiral Market, and definitely, definitely a great setup. 
directly as soon as I published the analysis, it went up. And another one was with Forex Empire that was pound dollar, here pound dollar, and both of those came in profit. Let's move on to our today's setup. Sound should be okay. Uh, Desai is saying that uh, he cannot hear me uh, fine. I think the sound is okay. It should be okay. So, yeah, the sound is good. Bob, Rex, Mihai, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think really the sound is good. So, yeah, probably uh, due to internet connection. So, check your internet. Should be fine, definitely. Okay, guys. So we can move on, right? Uh, let's see today's setup. Again, <laughs> as I say, Euro dollar, Euro dollar is in uptrend. It will be hard to find a good setup now at this point simply because we had buy positional trade around 1.1150 so that is a bit uh, you know guys when when we, when you make profits in the early morning it's very hard for me to to find something that can be viable to trade in the afternoon uh, I, I would definitely try one more time with positional buy setup if it happens around 1.1150 it stops at 11:20 TP. Oh yeah, this is this is now. Wait, wait, wait. This this is a typo from my side. I will correct it. TP should be 12, not this one. Wait, I will correct it. So uh, TP should be 1:30 up to. If it goes, it should go breaking even 1.1320. So that is why I say it, it's a little bit hard for me to give you another setup because our today setup went in, in profit. But maybe if it if it comes back, this could be final TP 1320. But definitely I would go for a sell. Whatever happened, yeah, it might run stops around. 13, that is why I will sell at 13.60. So 13.60 sell, 13.95 stop loss, 12.50 is my TP. Yeah, I mean, for me, this is logical to sell at 13.60 because I think that uh, there are, of course, uh, stop loss orders around 13.00. So what I think is we might see some, well, some stop grab around 30, 12, uh, 13, 13, 10 to 20, but definitely 1360 is where I will sell. So here, even if you watch historical price section that I always do, you will see that. 1360 really was sold in the past. What was sold so heavily in the past is supposed to be sold again in now moment because the Forex price action always repeats. That is what you need to know. So 1360 in the past was sold heavily. From this spot, these spots, you see how it was sold. And I expect it to be sold again. But we need to wait. We really need to wait for the price to get there. In a case of uptrend continuation, of course, guys, if this is today's high, as I, as I said in my trader's tip today on Twitter and Facebook, you need to mark this high and always 
mark high and low. That is why we use ECS box indicator to mark highs and lows. If this high is broken, buy on the first pullback towards H3, that is 1285. If it happens today, I might buy it because I always, not always, but most of the time, I buy into the break of the first daily high or low. If this happens during Asian market, the price should drop and then be bought again. So the first pullback after daily high is broken usually is bought immediately. So what I expect is continuation of uptrend, but if it if we see a drop, then again, this is ATR low. This is order block here. So I think that uh, there is a big chance that euro dollar might be bought from 50, 1150 to 60, 70 here. Okay, so let's let's see what will happen. As I said, we already had a good trade on my analysis for euro dollar, so. It's a little bit hard to find, again, the setup that is based basically on what I see. And that will always happen if, if uh, analysis from the morning makes nice profit. And this is what happened today. This is my analysis, 70 pips, guys, up. So, you know, it, it, it's very hard for me to make another setup. Pound, dollar. Again, same thing. I will try to see, and this is the setup that could happen, but then again, we had POCs, POC1 rejecting our uh, setup in profit. And it happened today. Yeah, I see a lot of new people coming in. So this setup happened here. When, when price dropped to 65, pound dollar was bought. So maybe, yeah, maybe uh, Theresa May, she will speak in two hours. I don't know what she will say, but the only thing that, uh, that what, what can happen is if we see a drop in pound, then I would go then for a buy trade around 12.20. Twelve twenty has a confluence here, so you see there is L four, and also we have seventy eight point six. But don't forget that we also have buyers here, a lot of buyers in the zone. So twelve zero five up to twelve twelve, a little bit higher even. It can be the zone for subsequent buy. But this looks like W. You see, it's it's bullish pattern here. So, what what can happen usually when, uh, let's say, prime minister speaks? Usually, if it's a dovish speak, the price might tank. But because the main trend is to the upside, if it's not significant news or significant, uh, something significant for the pound, usually it's bought straight after the conference. So what I think is, if she is dovish, then pound dollar might initially drop just to be bought from the bottom. So that is why I say, for me, news are very good because I'm either buying or selling, buying the dip or selling into rally, in the trend direction. And the trend, in the pound is bullish. So if you if you been listening to my lectures, if you read my analysis, you you probably know that I'm that I've been buying dips in pound dollar and euro dollar. So that is about pound dollar. Now we have also Australian dollar set up. It's range. Australian dollar is slowly grinding to the top, then it, it rejects, and then slowly grinding to the bottom. So in my opinion, Australian dollar is ranging. We have a positional sell, 7540, top 7570, TP 7430. 
Then we have buy position, 74.30. Top is 73.90. TP, 75.40. I will, guys, just let, let's go step by step what I prepare. Then I will move on to your question. So Australian dollar, 75.40 is positional sell trade. And this is Australian dollar, 75.40. Yeah, a lot of people ask me, what is this tool, mini terminal, what does it do? I can say this tool is very useful. You can uh, make trailing stops, you can place target price, you can buy, sell with a single click, you can manage your risk. Here, if you go, you can manage your risk with lot size, with stop losses. You see a lot of, lot of, lot of uh, options for stop loss, for various lot sizes trailing stop take profit that is very important guys if you want to use mini terminal it's a great expert advisor contained within the scope of mt4 supreme edition so australian dollar could reject around 7540 if we go to if you watch four hour time frame you can see the 7540 was indeed a place where historically Australian dollar rejected, and it's in a confluence with H5, Camarilla pivot. Okay, so this could be the zone to reject. And yet again, we have possible buy around 74.30. It's always best to buy when price is dipping and to sell when price is rallying because trading, trading in no man's land is not good. I don't like to trade, and I, my personal style is never to trade in no man's land. I wait for the price extremes to get into the trade. And by doing that, I'm securing the best possible entry. So what you can see here is it, it's downtrend in four hour, but if you go to one hour, it's uptrend. So this is the range. And the range is suggesting sell here, buy there. So let's see what will happen. Another pair is Euro Yen. It's an uptrend. Buy trade could be initiated around 123.80. Stop loss 123.35. TP 125.50. TP 226.40. Sell around 126.40. Stop 126.70. TP 125.50. So Euro Yen, another Yen pair that I like to trade. Uptrend here, 123.80. So this could be the zone where, okay, so where the price could reject. ATR low is supported by EMA 89. The zone is here, L3 previous breakout of this spot this could have been a uh, head and shoulders but it failed so the pair is in uptrend if it drops there i expect it to be bought stop loss 123.35 well if it gets above uh, if it gets towards uh, 126.40 well then I expect it to be sold. Here you can see 126.40 is H4. It hasn't been retested yet. So I guess you see there, there was no retest in near term. So what I think is that there are some sellers here that are waiting for the price to reach the level and then sell it. So I will be selling around 126.40. And finally, GBP Audi. Yeah, it was GBP Audi. I will correct the slide later. So GBP Audi, it's in uptrend, 73.50 buy, 73.15 stop, 75.00 TP, and TP to 76.05. So GBP Audi is the last pair that I that I will show to you. 
So 7350, you see a lot of support here. If you zoom into one hour time frame, the support has been bought into. Here, you see 74 and 7350, a lot of support here. ATR pivot, ATR low, trend line, L4. So we might expect a new spike if this level hold, if this zone holds. A lot of rejection. Okay. So now I will roll the slides again and then, guys, I will move to your question. So this is euro dollar. This is pound dollar. This is Australian dollar. This is Euro Yen. And this is GBP Australian dollar. Now the question, the first question here is Euro GBP. Euro GBP here, I already have a sell here and I think that the price might be sold again here. TP is there. Your stop loss should go at ATR projection high. So Euro GBP could be sold, but it needs to break this level where I initially sold it toward this level here initially. We will see if it will happen. That will be a pullback. But Euro GBP is bought, and I would buy around low. I don't want to buy high. The only thing where I would go long is here. Let's see what will happen. Now it's rejecting. Dollar Yen, the question about Dollar Yen. Dollar Yen is sold on rallies. And this time it's ranging. This is mini range on dollar yen. And here you can see that it's supported. What I think is if this zone breaks to the downside, it has the possibility to reach L3 pivot point. But it needs to break this zone here. Now at this point, it doesn't look very good to trade. This is not uptrend. This is range. On four hour time frame, it's uptrend. But you see here, this this looks very, very whip toyish. Even on this time frame, up, down, up, down. It doesn't go anywhere. It's not going anywhere at this time. So this is really a range. I, I don't trade this kind of price action. Pound New Zealand dollar, yeah, it it broke down, but the thing is, on four hour time frame, it's making a pullback. So this is a pullback on four hour time frame. Now, if you draw a Fibonacci retracement from the previous swing to this swing. You can see that L5 is in confluence. So Pound New Zealand will probably initially spike from 7550 region. It's very it's very important for you to understand because uh, historically it's been bought here. You see a lot of buying. It's L5, it's ATR low, it's 50 retracement, so this is a big confluence. What I think is that 8550 could spike easily to the upside, targeting maybe L4 or 38 points. So that is very important. Now I need to switch to other account type because I have a question for oil. So I will open uh, oil now.
This is oil chart. It made a V-shaped reversal. It's very common for oil. Also here, a form of inverted head and shoulders with V-shaped reversal, cup with handle. This is all very bullish. So it could drop and then spike initially again to the upside. So it might drop and spike again. WTI or oil is bullish. Uh, question, uh, New Zealand yen. It's, this looks bearish to me. It's going up. Now, at this point, it's facing resistance. But don't forget it. We have another resistance here and another resistance there. So what I would say is there is the confluence. See here. Confluence. Here. So if the pair gets there, it could be rejected. Even now, at this point, it could start to reject because it looks to me, it looks bearish to me. Although you see a lot of candles, last couple of four hour candles went up, but this looks bearish because now it's facing resistance. Uh, Yonat is asking, T, do you know any sort of credible source of top retail trader results? I mean, real verified results of serious traders like you, not the ones that claim 100% a day just to sell an indie or expert advisor. I'm curious about what a good serious retail trader can gain in a year and the top 10 or top 100 retail traders' results. Yonat, it's very, it's question that I personally maybe am not qualified to answer simply because when I make 30, 40, 50 percent on big account, I stop trading that account. For some people, 30 or 40 percent on uh, 50 or 100 thousand euros is not much. Those people are usually too much greedy, and I don't like to deal with people really with, 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 with those kind of investors or people i always advise whenever you you make 30 or 40 percent on big account like 50 or let's say 100 thousand it's okay for retail account 100 thousand euros or dollars is, is okay if you make 30 40 thousand it is good why would you risk your profit take those profits leave it if you now it's a it's, it's different story if you're trading low account for example you you deposit 500 euros it, it's it's not much it, it's low account if you make thousand or two thousand in couple of months it's an excellent result but in order to make any significant money on low account you need to use higher leverage right and you need to be ready to risk all of your money so you know it, it's different if you are able to consistently make in between 10, 2 and 10% per month, it's great. So you know, you need to know if you are able to make consistently between 2 and 10% per month, you are great. The biggest problem is not the Indies, not the expert advisor. The biggest problem is psychology, your consistency. The holy grail of Forex trading. Now, what I'm saying, guys, is 100% sure, and I have statements to confirm my claim. It's about your money management. It's risk management, money management. That is the holy grail of Forex trading. Because I have 70 to 80% successful trade. 60, 70, 80. But as long as money management is okay, my accounts are good. If I, if I try to go with bad money management or to gamble or to make with, with trades with much, much higher leverage than I should, then I can kill 1,000 pips of profit with a two or three bad trades with only 30 or 40 per, uh, pips stop loss. That is what I have learned through my trading career 
through my own mistakes. And that is why I ensure that those kind of mistakes never repeat again. That is why I have very specific money management. And I, 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 I can stand a big drawdown even if I make trades on low account. Because your stop loss always needs to be flexible while your risk should be fixed. Yonat is saying he made like 100% in a year and 50% this year. And it's good. It's great. Believe me. It's great. So basically when you make 100 or 50% this year, I would advise stop trading, take your profits. Of course, depending on your account. I gladly ad advise taking 30, 40, 50,000 euros out of 100 dollar account, 100,000 euros or dollars account in a single year because it's a good investment. You can reinvest that money and you can still have good trading account that can make you money again. So, yeah, it's great. Okay, so that was regarding your question and some explanation about risk and percentage of good retail account. Okay, now next question. Uh, can I show Australian dollar yen? Yes, Australian dollar yen. Not very good to trade at this point. It's trying to make something out of this rally but generally one hour is very bearish it's at resistance daily h3 historical sellers very short block so it could reject from this spot uh, john is asking can you roll the slides again before the end of course john i will do okay guys so you can ask uh, more questions uh, Akbar is asking, what is your favorite trade from this week's recap? I don't know. All of those trades are my favorite. I'm paying attention to pound, Australian dollar, because pound, Australian dollar, could be very interesting to trade. It has big range, and it's, it's moving nicely. But let's see. Let's wait. Okay, I will roll slides again. And if you don't have any questions, Further question, guys, then we can call it a day. So this is Euro dollar. Yes, we have OPEC this week. Uh, but OPEC this week is viable for oil trade and Canadian dollar trade. Yes. And uh, you need to be careful with oil and CAD trades during OPEC meeting. But we will have a live uh, trading session on Wednesday, so don't forget to sign up for a live session, a live trading session. Uh, Gulad is saying uh, GBPO was trade of the week, bounced from uh, 7350. He took 200 pips of profit. Excellent. That is really good. Okay, Euro Yen and finally GBP Ori. So guys, this this was it. Uh yeah, New Zealand dollar. Question about New Zealand dollar. We still have time, guys, for questions. So if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. New Zealand dollar now broke guys into uptrend. This was you see this was range. Now it, it went up, and what can happen is a retest of this order block. So for New Zealand dollar trades, this could be the trade here. If it drops towards this level, 80, uh, 70, 00, or 69, uh, sorry, uh, 69.50 to 69.55, uh, this could be a long trade here. Because this is order block, order block, 
WH3, weekly H3, daily H3, ATR pivot, and it made a breakout from this level, so this could be a retest continuation. Uh, Vito is asking about gold. Yes, gold. Buying on dip, gold is going up. Uh, we, I'm sure that we have a confluence with Fibonacci here. Yes, 61.8, double uh, daily L3, EMA 89, weekly H5. This is level to go up. So this is the zone to go up on gold. Uh, Walter, is your POC strategy good for intraweek trading? Walter, usually one hour trades are done for two weeks, uh, two days maximum. So intraweek means swing. Swing is usually four hour. So one hour POC zones are good for today, tomorrow, and sometime the day after tomorrow. Mostly for intraday to up to two or three days maximum. Uh, but pay attention to first rejections because first rejections from the zone are most profitable. That is POC zone. We are aiming to trade like bank, the first rejection, to go with the flow of big money. Kaiselhoff, Nenad, what do you think about silver if you have time? Yes, sure. Silver, I don't pay attention a lot to silver, but this is from a technical perspective, this is uptrend. Definitely uptrend here. Okay, let's see. Uh, we have a V-shaped reversal, like uh, in a form of uh, type two classic inverted head and shoulders. Uh, here, this chart is showing uptrend. It could spike again from daily H3 level on a pullback. So what I would say about silver is buy on pullback. Buy on pullback, that is what I think about silver. Buy on pullback. Okay, no problem. If you have any questions, guys, go ahead and ask me. No problem with it. Okay, so I don't see any questions. I think that uh, I answered all of your questions. Thank you for your questions and thank you for your comments. Let's see if we can repeat the previous session cap again with nice profit. And I expect you to come on Wednesday to make live trades with me. Again, live trading session where I will strive to make live trades on live account. Thank you. Thank you, Akbar. Thank you, everyone guys, and I'll see you soon. Cheers. Great safe.